Welcome back to DMC Sports. Today, we're gonna crack some packs. I just got all sorts of stuff here. And we're gonna see if there's anything in here I wanna keep. Almost all of this is from late 80s, early 90s. Surprise, surprise. Look at, I can get a puzzle card inside. Let's see what non-interesting, maybe interesting stuff we can get. Pull my trash can closer. Because most of these, oh, Sosha. That's a cool card. He's all athletic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Rocho Alomar. I might keep that. I think that might be a keeper. Bob Boone? No. Ah, oh, the Glenn Brax. He was supposed to be so good. Knuckleballer. I'm going to make a knuckleballer thing. So I'll keep him. There's the Sabo. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Steve Sachs. Nothing. Trash. Okay. Ooh, there's some more baseball. Don Ross. Oh boy, oh boy. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Bubble Yo Hewahita. Cecil Filder. Cool. Or Cecil. I wonder which one it really is. Kevin Gross. Roy Smith. My name is Roy Smith. Yeah, whatever. Howard Johnson. Jim Eisenreich. Met him several times now. Cool dude. Best dude ever almost. Jack Morris. Keep that. Trash. <laughs> that one almost went in. It hit off the... Jeez, uh, I can't open this. Here we go. 90 score. These are horrific. There's Chet Lemon. Woo. Trash. What is this? Keith, Kiki Jones. You know, I've never heard of him. First round pick. That's not good for you, buddy. Uh, he was good. The strawberry. Coke. Jose Canseco. Boom, boom, boom. That's keeper. Sweet. Back fresh Jose. John Smolty. I like Smolty. And Kevin Apier. He's cool. We'll keep him. Let's go back with 90 score. Oh. These things, when they, you gotta pull hard. There's the big cat. Mike Scott was a, uh, <clears throat> not a cheater. He played, he, but he did through the screwball. Good for him. Johnny Ray. Great. There's the Rex Hudler. I've been looking for another Rex Hudler card. Good, good, good. Cal Aldridge. He's the um, pitching coach for the Royals. <gasps> Quisenberry in a shitty outfit. Boo. Jose Uribe. That's a cool name, man. All right, boy, these are terrible. All right, I'm going to keep... Should I keep uh, Mike Scott? Yeah, I'm going to keep Mike Scott. I'm going to tell a story about him. He's pretty good. He, uh, he needed a, a different pitch, so he started uh, cheating a little. He never, he never admitted it, but you know, most people knew he was a little cheater-cheater. It was called a split finger fastball after a while. All right. De Jesus... Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin was just doing a thing. And then, oh, Todd Benzinger. I got his autograph. He was supposed to be so good. And then he wasn't. Oh, that's so sad. Look at that. Shiny Cubs thing. I kind of like these. These are cool. I'm going to keep that. Uh, Mike Mussina. Well, the Famer should be. If not, is he going this year? Going this year. Oh, I missed it. I was too busy doing stuff. Wayne Edwards. Wayne Edwards is a normal delivery. Never heard of him. Trash. Trash for you, buddy. Mm, going down. I don't even know what these are. What year are these? 19, 1991. Major uh, League Baseball. So, I watched that uh, Jack of All Trades on uh, YouTube. And let me tell you. They said some stuff on there. The guy said, the dad, said that the guy had a humongous, like, 5,000 count or something. 25,000 count, I don't know, of just Griffey rookies that they'd produced. They just super produced, overproduced all of that. So I was like, mm, not surprised. Because, I mean, there's just so many of these cards. Ooh, Whitaker, look at that. It's just unbelievable. Eck, I collect him. Not sure if I have that. Frank Viola was a total, total badass. Sean Barry. Boy, the Royals were terrible in that time. I mean, just, just absolute. Oh, there's 89. Tops. You know, I was going to save, like, every year pack I can get. And I'm like, oh, I'll do that. I, just, I have so many of these to even choose from, so. I just don't. Rob Dibble, guy, it was awesome. 
So, Fernando Venezuela. It's so funny that, that Fernando Venezuela is from Mexico. It's so, so strange. Yeah, I know. But whatever. Uh, record breaker, don't even care. Chili Davis, one arm down. Terry McGriff. The Cram Dog's little brother. I have no idea. It was all going to trash. Let's open one of these up. I have not opened one of these up since uh, 87. The local Dillons used to have these. So you go through and you look and you look and you look and you look and you find a couple players you want. And you buy it and you look through them. By the time those are out on the shelf, like two days. Well, usually less than that. There isn't anything to grab that's visible that's any good. You're like, oh, well, I'll buy uh, some of the other ones. You know, Mom goes to the grocery store and she'll buy me a couple of these, man. She was awesome. And... They were all bad. This <laughs> is Bobby Barry Bonds. Look at that. Sosa. Another Sosa rookie card. There's so many Sosa rookie cards. And they're all worth nothing. Mark Grace, he's awesome. <sighs> you know, at least these cards are not ugly as all get out. But, no, they are. They're terrible. Kurt Stillwell, he was actually a pretty good player for us. We were a bad team, and he was a, he was a good player on a bad team, people. Pat Borders, he, he's, he was a cool, cool guy. I like Pat Borders. There's the Pucket, Tom Pagnazzi. <laughs> he's such a great name. There's Ken Griffey Jr., I don't have that one. I might as well start saving it up a little bit. The rest go in the trash. Dave Smith, Billy Swift, um... There was another more Johnny Rays. John Smoltzy. I love Smoltzy. You know what Smoltzy said the other day on the air? He said that if he had to wait around, he sucked. So if there's like a two-hour rain delay, he's probably not going to pitch well. If they put him back another day even. Like, oh, you're, you're pitching on Friday, and then something happens, and he pitches on Saturday. Throw him off. He's a Hall of Fame pitcher. And he was that kind of just... Everyone's got their proclivities, and that, that must have been his, just waiting around when he thinks he's you know going to play and he doesn't. Or I found that extremely easy. Is this guy named Joe Beaver? What's his name? Bo Beaver. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, hey, hey, Jim Beaver. Some of my favorite actors. I thought maybe it was him. Jay Hal. God, that guy had so many chances to be great, and he just suck. Just couldn't keep getting out of trouble. He got in trouble all the time. Kurt Schilling. Screw you, buddy. Hate that guy. Hate that guy. Jeffrey Bill Buckner. Oh, in the Kansas City. I'm going to save that because i got some good stories about him. Uh, R.I.P. him. He just passed away. So I'll wait a little while to tell those funny stories. Boom. Fletcher. Kevin Brown. Great pitcher. Rick Richard, Good pitcher. John Moses. Never heard of you, buddy. All right. So... Ooh, Kevin Seitzer. Man, I saw him the other day. That dude has been eating some cheeseburgers and some ice cream. That was one big dude, man. He is really... He's gotten old. So you get bigger and you get older. I, I got it, man. But Seitzer's awesome. I was a big Seitzer fan. I always have been. Collect all of his cards back in, from back in the day. He wore 33 and he was on the Royals, man. I had to love that guy. And he could hit. What is this one? That... So, I was pretty jazzed about it. Oh, come on. Open. Oh, no. Don't want to open. All right. Boom. Bob Nipper. The Nipper. That's a great name. Hello. My name's Bob Nipper. Glad to meet you. Well, oh, Jim Dwyer says, no problem, man. What's up? Anyway, Robbie Thompson. Mike Heath. These are all people that I know from the 80s. A lot of men. Paul Ossemacher. Is that who that is? Yeah. Inky Villia. Inky. Before he got traded. Look at this, look at this guy. Home runs. 30 as a rookie. I'm like, oh, he's going to hit 50 next year. He hit 27, 22, 21. His batting average sucked. He'd be perfect for today's game. I mean, he'd be a star. He'd be um, Joey Gallo. Yeah, Joey Gallo. I said it. There's Pat Sheridan. He was on my team. He sucked. Rubbing you out. Don't have that card. Hall of Famer. Rubbing you out. Awesome. I'm talking about a hitter now. Oh, look at this. Todd Zell, rated rookie. He, no. Eric Anthony. Hmm. Joe. Oh, there's that guy again. Storm Dave. The A's are feeling familiar. Jay Howell. Bird 511. I got that card. Ron Darling. He had um, thyroid cancer. He's beating it, man. He ain't messing around. Joe Clark. I thought he was going to be a stud. There's that shitty Kurt. Kurt. Oh, no. Kurt. What happened? Oh, you got ripped, buddy. Oh, there's Mookie Mookie. Mookie Wilson. Big Cat. Look at, look, look at that. It's like paper loss. Was over that? There's no gum. I have no idea. Buckner again. Uh, Lewis goes. I can say it usually, but 
Jay Buhner, lots of power. Saw him. He finally got old. We're talking about that 95 team. All right, let's let's just let's change it up, people. I've been wanting to know what's in here. 2018 draft lead, five cards per pack. So there is there is a card or two in here I might might be getting. Let's see here. Marcel Aitman. <laughs> such a dumb name. Marcus Hurst. He's looking big and fast. Look at him run. They put an American flag behind him. All-American draft. What do you got? That's a cool-looking card. Uh, Juice. I should know who he is, but I can't place him right now, who he plays for. James Washington. Huh. I didn't really know any of those guys, so that's kind of disappointing. I do follow football pretty well, and I have no idea. Look, gum. All right, let's, what do we got here? 86 or 88, 88 tops. Teddy Higuera. I've got his autograph in person. He checked out. I uh, was like a little kid. I thought, of course, he was going to be super awesome because look how many wins. Is this before? Yeah, he won 20 games that year. So this was an 88, 86, 86. So I was a little kid, and he threw the ball to me that was sitting on the, the, the track, the, the foul track. And then I threw it back at him, and I tossed it. He, he looked up at me, and I said something. He didn't understand me. He didn't know a lot of English. So I threw a pen at him, and you could see the, like, oh, okay. So he signed it and threw it back to me. My buddy was like, what are you doing, man? And I'm like, that's the first ball I ever got, by the way. Teddy Higuera. He's a cool dude. He signed that thing for me. This card, that, it looks like the, yeah, this card's all got, like, too much yellow. <laughs> Bo Jackson, everybody likes Bo Jackson, except for me. Juan Benitez, is that who that is? Yeah, he was cool. Gross, Jamal. I've had so many of these cards. I mean, like a million. I mean, just so many. What is this? This is Leaf Set featuring Hollem Killebrew uh, Hall of Fame Puzzle. I've never opened these. What year is this? Series 2? I have no idea. We'll uh, pop them open and look. I've never opened these. I'm actually... I just noticed this pack sitting. Oh, look how shiny that is. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like it that it's shiny. I'd like to get that. Hold on, Killer Brew was cool. They called him the Fat Kid. Oh, I've opened these. These are these. These are weird. Rich Gedman. He's not bad. I hated Brett Butler, and I still don't know why, but I just do. And, uh, no, and that's not him. No, I like Brett Butler. No, no, no. It's, it's, I'm checking Jeff Kent. I get confused sometimes. Sorry. All right. So I'll bet. Boy, these. These are. These are. Ugh. It's a very common Willie Randolph. Is he is he with the Brewers? Is that that looks like Willie Randolph? But I don't remember him being on the. He must have just topped over to the Brewers at the very last of his. Yeah, Del Murphy, Del Murphy at the very end of his career, popping over, just trying to get some at bats. Del Murphy, very very good player. He's one of the best players of his generation. He's a borderline Hall of Famer, that's for sure. And Glenn Davis, that was cool, man. I've never opened those before. Not like that. That was like a that was a big daddy pack. It was big baseball cards. I opened these before. You know, if you want to take some time to read the little comics on the back, they're kind of neat, I guess. Uh, yeah. How's it going? What in the world? Joe Carter, Kansas City native, World Series, uh, World Series uh, star. Well, that was oh, Greg Gagne. So those are weird. What else we got? We got some more of these, some more of those. Let's 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 power through some of these other ones. We'll keep these. We'll do these last three packs, fellas. All right. I thank you guys for watching. I haven't had a lot of videos lately. I've been super busy. I'm burnt out on some stuff, so I just kind of took a step back. But now I'm gonna. Oh, look how look how bent these all are. These are all bent. Lee Smith. Lee Smith. His his hand could go all the way around the ball. It was amazing. No one else could throw basically what he did because of his hand was so big. That is for sure. Oh, look. Frank Williams, he throws sidearm. I don't remember him at all. Man. These scorecards are terrible. Lenny Dykstra. Going to business with him. Not. He's a, he's a character. Steve Bedrosian. Weird. All right, those are all going to the trash. Trash. Okay. 1989 baseball. Who can we get out of here? I don't know. What is this? Score? So nobody? <laughs> This has been beat up through the years, let me tell you. Oh, let's do a trick. Whoop. <laughs> Look at that. That's gone. Denny Walling. Dave Steve, good pitcher. Steve Farr, good pitcher, sort of. Man, Fernando Valenzuela. D. 
David Palmer. Wow. Even, even if, I mean, even Greenwood, but there isn't a whole lot in there. Even back then, that was a bad pack. That's a bad pack all the way around. All right, last pack magic. We're going to pull a, a Hall of Famer that I like here. I actually have so many of these uh, 88 Don Ross in the past. I've, I've probably thrown away 20,000 of these. Easily. Easily. 20,000 of these. I've had so many. And that was a miscut. Ruben Sierra. I collected the crap out of that card. MVP. See? Look at that. Great stats. 35 doubles, 30 home runs, switch hitter, about a 263. Let's see how much he struck out. Did he strike out much? Yeah, 114 times, but he walked 40 times. This guy should have been a superstar of the game, and he was. He was a good player, but not, you know. Oh, Eddie Williams. Oh, there's Stan Musial. I'll keep that. Just go. It looks cool. Damon Barry Hill. Boy, we're talking about a backup catcher forever. And Stottlemyre. Nothing, people. Nothing. Well, I'm going to crack some more packs on here in another date. Please stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can get all my new stuff as it comes out. Thank you for watching.